Hi everybody and welcome back to another What the Flicks Ace's Choice. I'm Mike B and this is Ace. And he's going to be choosing a special movie of my selection today, making it Ace's Choice. So the special theme for today is digital virtual cybernetic-y type movies. Movies that have that technological edge from the turn of the century or whatever. Basically 1990s. Mid-1990s movies. So this is going to be particularly exciting, I think. Are you ready? No. You should be. I'm not. Let's do this. <laughs> so our first selection is Cyber Tracker. Go, go, <laughs> go. Eric is a secret agent currently working as a security guard. Senator Dilly is a major advocate for a new kind of police officer, the Tracker, a perfect, undefeatable android. When Eric realizes the senator is corrupt, not only does he have Dilly's security chief Ross after him, but also the Trackers. Cyber Tracker. How long is it? 91 minutes. Okay, next. Don Wilson, Richard Norton, and Stacy Foster. Our next selection, Digital Man. An out of control robot is inadvertently set loose in a small community and a crack squad of soldiers are sent to hunt them down. Gradually, the members of the squad begin to suspect that some of them are robots too. Jesus Christ, that's like a trash bag movie. Ken Oldent, Christian Dalton, and Adam Baldwin. God. Making it the star of the night. Oh God. 95 minutes. We're going slowly going up in length here. Our third selection, virtual combat. Scientists bring virtual reality characters to life, two of which are women from a cyber sex game. The third is a warrior who wants to unleash the rest of the bad guys from the virtual reality underworld. A border cop must defeat the virtual reality warrior while learning to relate to one of the cyber sex babes. They Starring Don work. the Dragon Wilson, Michael Bernardo, and Don Ann Billings. 97 minutes. This really sounds like Mary Sue. Like, Do you want to take a little peek there? Yeah. Cyber Tracker sounds the bed of the three. Is that your final answer? Yes. Oh Ace has God. chosen <laughs> Cyber Tracker! The story of a secret agent working as a security uh, guard. Why would a secret agent be working as a security guard? Because he's that secret. It's his, I'm sure it's his cover story. He's, he's clearly much more important than just your average security guard. So it has a secret agent Undefeatable androids, a corrupt senator, uh, a security chief. I think this is going to be one. This is going to be a really great experience it's for terrible. Ace and myself, I, as I've not seen this either. This is terrible. Well, I think we're going to go watch Cyber Tracker, which is Ace's choice for the night, and. We will be back. Initial system. In accordance with penal code 122067, you are to be executed now. fuck was that one? Um, Cyber Tracker. Cyber Tracker. Oh my fucking god. So we just watched Cyber Tracker. 
This I, movie is so It's all such over a place. piece of shit. I'm blown the fuck away. The music was terrible oh, all me, the way through. The music was garbage. It, it sounded like someone made the music on like a Casio, like one of those ones you find at Value Village or something. Yeah. For like three bucks. Mm -hmm. And they're like, I'm gonna plink out some score for this movie. Yep. And you're like, you really? Really? The hot, there was a stand. <laughs> there was a hot dog stand in Hydro the Hydro dogs. Hydro dogs. And the music is like. <laughs> and you're just like, are you fucking kidding me? Who, did they pay him in Hydro dogs? Was that how this worked? I swear, the budget for everyone but the dragon, the main character, must have been like some muffins and a hydro dog. No, remember those muffins? The, the, yes. All the bakery stuff we found in the rebel hideout? That's what they paid them. Okay, so this movie opens kind of like a huge ripoff of Terminator. And... It gets worse. <laughs> it gets way worse. So this mm. movie... It's a ripoff of Terminator and Robocop. And Robocop. It's a Terminator Robocop hybrid. And the company that has the Terminator Robocop hybrid, the Cyber Tracker, is basically Cyberdyne. It's yeah. basically the Robocop company. Yep. And they are getting rid of basically getting rid of police officers and having these Judge Dredd esque Cyber Trackers kill all the criminals. Yeah. Judge, jury, executioner, controlled by computer. The movie opens with us watching one of these cyber trackers kill a criminal, and he has a pair of cargo pants where he has a strip that looks like someone just kind of like literally ripped a little flap in his pants. And then they put Velcro at the front so he could, he could pull it, put yeah. it back. And yeah, so he has, a, he has a hole in his pants that looks like they just, like some stagehand is like, shit, we gotta rip up some pants. And then a gun molds out of his skin into a gun. And then he shoots people with that gun. And when yep. he's done, it molds back into his leg and he closes up his little flappy. Yep. There's rebels that are trying to kill the senator that runs the, the cyber tracker company. And all these rebels are like immaculate, beautiful people. Yeah, they're, they're very attractive and they're very useless. Yes. And our main character is unhittable. Just unhittable. Don... Oh my god, he was in both movies. Oh, really? How did I get two? He did two of the same movies, basically. So, the main character is Don the Dragon Wilson, and I don't know anything about the Dragon Wilson, but he was in one of the other movies we, that was on Ace's Choice, Virtual Combat, which perhaps at a later date we'll review, but today's movie was Cybertracker, and he's a divorced security guard for this cyber tracker company and they try to get him to kill a traitorous scientist who works for the mm -hmm. rebels and he doesn't want to and then they send cyber trackers down to kill him because he didn't want to be evil So then somehow the rebels find him and knock him out and then make him a prisoner in their little base, which is just like a hotel. It's like a motel's but that, lobby. It's like gutted for the most part. It's just like a shitty warehouse set or a doctor's office that was really trashy. I don't know. So the cyber tracker company sends a cyber tracker to kill all the rebels. Don Wilson... Don the Dragon Wilson escapes with the blonde bimbo leader, Griff. Yeah. And they infiltrate the Cyber Tracker Company. And the Cyber Tracker Company. And then they kill everyone. And the movie ends. <laughs> That's a little too simple, but. That basically, I don't know, I don't know what else to say. I love hydro dogs. I love I love the very fact. He shot the living shit out of hydro dogs, and then it exploded, and then he kept shooting, 
and then the guy jumped back behind the car, jumped on the hood, kept shooting, and then jumped back on Wilson, off. and he jumped off the and same I, side. And in between that, jumping off the car, you know, hopping off it, he got shot in the leg somehow. I don't know how his legs were like. But he's like, ah, oh, I got shot, and then he runs off. Yeah. He doesn't even limp. And then, then the Cybertracker's like, I've lost track of him. And then he walks right next to the car with like all the, his ga the gas tank empty, and then he shoots the gas, and it explodes. And then the Cybertracker falls down, and then heals his face and then through he, magic. And then he gets back up, but he's just like, this guy's just a Secret Service guy. I, I can't kill him. So this is something we have to address, is Don the Dragon Wilson is virtually unhittable. He's coated in can't hit me atanium. Because he is shot with more than likely hundreds of bullets in this movie and gets hit mm. once. <laughs> what else is dumb? Um, all of it. Uh, this oh, movie is oh. really dumb. The, the uh, techno jargon from the, the guy, uh. from the Cyber Tracker guys, how he's like up, unobtainium like metal and skin and he's from the future. The tracker's endosystem, some kind of high-tempered super alloy. I mean, I'm not a metallurgist, but it's far more impermeable than any metallic compound I've ever seen. My software can't decipher the hydroxic radical that was utilized. Any theories? Uh, I only speak English. Don Dragon is like, I don't understand you. And then the scientist go, goes on to talk about science things like six more times. And Don's like, you know, I really can't understand you, right? And the audience doesn't understand him because he's just talking gibberish. And why? <laughs> Why? Why do that? And then that scientist guy gets shot. Wait, does he? Yeah, he gets shot. Everybody gets Everybody shot. Everybody's shot, so it doesn't even fucking matter. Basically, it just says that the cyber trackers are super great. Yeah. And it's like, you could have just said, cyber trackers are super great. Holy crap. And they're from the future. And, or whatever. At one point, Ace and me thought that the leader of the cyber tracker company was an alien. But at the end, it could he's be. He's a true. robot. Yeah, he's a robot from the future. So that begs the question, was he, did he exist as a human? Was he from the future? Did the, the cyber guy just make him up? I don't fucking know, man. I don't know what to say. This movie is just a mess. The music sucked. Okay, the best thing about this movie, easily the best thing about this movie, is the car explosions, the pyrotechnics, Really, really well done. Yeah. There was five different, at least five, car explosions. Spectacular big practical effects. People on fire, people blowing up. All really, really good effects. And they were a huge highlight for me, man. Yeah. Huge. You got fucking, you got cyber trackers blowing up. Uh, trucks blowing up. Hot dog stands, hydro dog stands blowing up. Everything blows up. It's great. But the story... The motivations are thinner, paper thin. The the police chief woman, in some scenes, wants the blood of Dawn Dragon, and she's like, "We will send the cyber trackers, and we will wipe him off the face of the earth." And then the next scene, she'll be like, "Oh my God, we're using so many cyber trackers. I feel so bad. Cyber trackers, it's immoral." And then the next scene, yeah. I want to watch you torture Don Dragon with a with a knife. Don just, Dragon Chicky or whatever. Yeah, just slice her up in front of me. That's fine. I don't care. I got a couple of minutes. I'll watch you torture a woman to death. I've got a few minutes. And then the next scene. Oh, I can't believe we use cyber trackers. This is so immoral. I didn't get the fucking motivation of this stupid woman. You know, it's just it sounds retarded. Sounds like the writer had a few bad moments. It sounds there. like there was more than four writers. So how do you rate this movie? Oh God, I, I feel like we haven't even talked about it, but we have. Yeah, there's nothing in this there's, movie. This movie is so light on content and so heavy on just bullshit. There's at least, I feel like there's at least 20 violent fighting scenes yeah. of some kind or another. Bullets flying, martial arts, when it's just a really poorly done RoboCop ripoff. Yeah. Uh, with some Terminator shit thrown in just for laughs. Yeah. What the sad thing is, Don the Dragon also co-produced this. So he put his own money in to make this happen. Yeah. 
and you see it. You see it in his acting. You see, like, he is putting, he's trying. He's yeah. really trying. Because he's like, shit, my, my dollars are in this production. I want it to go well. You know, he's okay. Yeah. The, the main woman, the blonde chick rebel, Griff, is okay. Yeah. But everyone else is fucking trash. Except for the cyber tracker. He plays perfectly. Oh, my God. I am Unit 7, Federal Division of Core Trackers. You, Clayton Douglas Grubb, have been found guilty of murder by the United States Computerized Judicial System. In accordance with Penal Code 120067. Now, wait a minute. You're to be executed now. I'm innocent. His you will voice. be exterminated. No, 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 his voice, he's like, Cyber Tracker 2.659, you will be exterminated. His voice. Yeah. He sounds like a six-year-old who just punched himself in the balls. It's retarded. I don't know what to rate this movie. I think it's shit. I think I think it's shit. The explosions are fucking awesome. But other than that, it's just fucking it's just so bad. I don't I don't know if I can rate it. I don't I think I'm a no rating on this one. No rating. I can't. That's no. 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 I think I have to rate it. I think do I have to? It's um can't I just nope out? Nope. Two Fantastic Fours oh. out of five Jurassic Worlds. Oh, come on, dude. Yeah. That's that's probably being generous. No, this is better than Fantastic Four. Yes. Yes, it is. Which is so pathetic. That is so pathetic. I know, and this thing only costs like what a quarter of a mil to make everything in. Dude, this probably costs like ten grand. Yeah, I'm well, sure that Don the Dragon what was making sandwiches for the crew, driving them to and from work, probably carpooling. I'm sure all the props were probably his cars, or his stuff, or stuff he bought, or whatever. He probably did all the 3D effects. I mean, it was his money. This is kind of his baby. Jesus, I can't believe. Oh, that was bad. Oh. Okay, I would rate this, oh, uh, one virtuosity out of two pocket ninjas. <laughs> oh God, I really- Pocket ninja next week. <laughs> no! We're not fucking doing pocket ninjas. I will just, I'll just jump off a bridge. It'll be faster. <laughs> don't worry, I'll tie you down. Oh okay. God, I don't want to watch pocket. <sighs> I'm not watching pocket ninjas again. I'm not. <laughs> I've already watched it twice in my life, and that's two times too many. <laughs> <laughs> Time for you to suffer. All right. Well, thanks for watching, everyone. I hope you enjoyed. Like, share, subscribe. Again, Ace chose an excellent movie yep. for us to suffer through. Yep. I had good choices on this list, nope. but it seems to be that Ace always chooses the shittiest fucking choice. Yep. What the fuck, man? Yep. Cyber track. <laughs> Who is the best? <sighs> and we'll see you next time. Sign a note. <laughs> Fuck, dude. Cyber Tracker. You could have had Virtual Combat slash Grid Runner. Mm. Or Digital Man, dude. That had Adam Baldwin. I put it in fucking italics. Why the fuck would I do that? Adam Baldwin. He's a Baldwin brother. Uh, he's a hack fraud. Uh, They're all hack frauds. <laughs> hack fraud. They had Richard Norton. Hack fraud. Who's Richard Norton? I don't know. Exactly, he's a hack fraud. Hunger. <sighs> Was it a good time? What a disappointment.